My name is Mamie. After entering high school, I was surrounded by so many fashionable people. Unable to get used to things, I started to stay at home more and more. I spent my days uploading drawings that I do in my free time. Someone left a good comment about my work. Oh, it's Carol. She always leaves likes on my work. Recently, we've gotten to know each other better. You live in the same prefecture as me, don't you? Why don't we meet up sometime? I wasn't sure what to do. But I thought it would be a good opportunity, so I said yes. Hello, mommy. Is that you? It's me, Carol. I thought Carol was a girl, so I was a bit surprised. But it was nice and easy to talk to. I was nervous at first, but I had a lot of fun. We continued to meet after that. We grew closer and closer. Two months later, mommy, I really like you. What do you think about us dating? I was surprised, but I liked him, so I said, "Okay." Seeing that it's our anniversary, why don't we go to do you know where? Where? It was a hotel. I was surprised, but I didn't want him to hate me, so I agreed to go. It was my first time, so it was a bit scary and painful, but Carol was gentle, so I made it through. After that, every time we met, we did the same thing. After the few months of that, one month, my period was late. Carol said he would use contraception, so I trusted him. But when I bought the pregnant test, the result came back positive. My hands shaken. I dialed Carol's number. Uh, I'm pregnant. What? You've texting someone else, haven't you? Is someone else, isn't it? How could you cheat on me like that? Don't contact me ever again, huh? What are you talking about? Carol suddenly got out of his chair and left. After that. No matter how many lie messages I sent, he just ignored them. He just abandoned me. Well, what should I do? My morning sickness soon started to get worse. I had to keep running to the bathroom. My parents then started to catch on. Mammy, what's wrong? Don't tell me you're unable to hold back. I explained everything that happened. Without saying anything, she held me close, and I began to bawl my eyes out. My father said something to me on my way to women's clinic. I thought you were better than that. His was pierced through my heart. Are you sure about this? This means the baby will die. Yes, I know. I was shown fetus from the sonogram. This is the heart. Looks like it's beating strong. The way this little heart is beating is really alive. After seeing that, I couldn't stop myself from yelling, "Mom, I don't want to kill my baby. I want to give birth to it and raise it." After arriving home. Father, I don't want to kill my baby. Please let her have it. I got down on my knees and pleaded. My mother pleaded beside me. I couldn't stop crying. My father completely refused, but then he said, "I am not spending a dime on that baby. If you want to have it, the two of you need to figure something out on your own." This is what led to my having a baby at sixteen. I gave birth to a little girl. I named her Harumi, and raised her together with my mother. I was told I need to be at least graduate high school, so half a year later, I headed back to school. During that time, my mom took care of my baby, and she worked at night to help save money. Two years later, I graduated with no issue, and started working right away. Harumi started going to daycare, and things started to fall into place. Come on, we need to hurry. I was relieved. Because this would also make things easier for my mom, but then, one day, my mother suddenly collapsed at work and never woke again. Mother, I'm sorry. This is all my fault. I'm so sorry. It seemed that I was responsible for her death, so I couldn't help blaming myself. Still, I can just sit here and cry. I've got to get back to work and make money for Harumi. I have to survive off the money my mother was able to provide. I then worked as hard as I could. Around the time my roommate started elementary school, I came home after doing overtime to the sound of the laughter. Is that Harumi and Dad? When I peeked into the room, I saw my once emotionless Dad laughing and playing games with Harumi. I'm home, Dad.、Uh, Mommy, this is a Harumi forced me to. What? Grandpa, you're the one who always asking for me to play games. Oh, have you been looking after all this time? After that, 
Once a roommate went to sleep, I had the first talk with my dad in several years. It appears that dad was taking care of her roomie in secret. I don't know why though. It made me so happy to hear that. To tell the truth, I was happy when you said that you would have the baby. I was so proud of you for not abandoning your child. But as your father, I had a role to play. But in the end, I ended up putting too much pressure on your mom. I truly regret for what I've done. The two of us just stood there and cried next to mom's memorial photo. From then on, my father started playing with Harumi openly. Right around that time, a friend and I opened our own nail salon. My father renovated the first floor of our house and we made it into the salon. Since I've always been a good drawing, I decided to focus on doing character nail art, which was a big hit. It became a popular salon and people come from all over to visit. And one day, a TV crew even showed up to the special report. Welcome! This is my co-host, Kaoru. Pleased to meet you? It can't be! There in front of me was the same Kaoru who got me pregnant and ran. Deep down, I was shocked, but I faked a smile from the cameras. However, Kaoru went bright red as he looked over my shoulder. When I turned around, Harumi was there. She had just come back home from school and was looking my way. I'm home! Go wash your hand, have a snack, and wait inside, okay? Mommy will be there in a bit. M mommy So this is the child from back then? Kaoru started to tremble. Even if you pursue child support, I'm never gonna pay. If I knew you were here, I would have never come. You trapped me. The crew as well as the female fans that were there, that scene began to whisper amongst themselves. Because of his outburst, they had to cut the quick commercial promptly, ending the interview. When it seemed that everything was over, people are talking about that guy on social media, talking about what a dirtbag he is for getting women pregnant and leaving them. When I looked, I found a flurry of commands. I had totally forgotten about him. I was even grateful to him because he gave me Harumi. Still, I guess I feel somewhat relieved now that everything is over. I will continue to focus on my friends and family and be grateful for what I have. Mom, I am sorry I am not able to be with you up in the heaven. But because of you, I am truly happy. Please continue to watch down over me.